What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to bring you a really cool spot uh, that we just visited here in North Carolina. Can't wait to show it to you, so stay tuned. So the place that we visited was Grandfather Mountain Swinging Bridge and Nature Preserve over in Linville, North Carolina. Uh, that's just under two hours away from us uh, here in Waynesville. So this place was not free to visit. Uh, there was a cost involved, but it wasn't really that bad for the three of us to go visit. So the pricing is $22 per adult and $9 for kids ages 4 to 12. And they do recommend that you purchase your tickets online to guarantee admission. If there's available space, they'll let you buy them at the gate, but they it's very clear on their website that that's what they recommend. We purchased our tickets on our way over actually because the time slot that you pick, you have an hour to get in. For example, if you pick 10 a.m., they'll let you in until 11 a.m. with your ticket, and then once you're inside, you can stay as long as you want. Yeah, we looked uh, the night before to see what the availability was for the next day, and they pretty much had every time slot open uh, with like, like 180, yeah. 190 yeah. tickets available. So. Um, we weren't real sure how long it was going to take us to get over there. We knew it said two hours, but uh, we figured we'd just head over. And then uh, once we were on the way and kind of had an idea of when exactly we were going to arrive, we would go ahead and buy our tickets, which is what we did, and uh, worked out perfect. When you arrive there at the gate, uh, they will give you a CD. If you have a CD player in your vehicle, they'll give you a CD that uh, you can pop in, and it gives you kind of a history of the area, uh, like an auto tour as you drive through. If you don't have a CD player, they will give you a, a USB drive. Uh, if you have a way to play that, you can. Uh, we actually brought ours back and uh, then kind of listened to it after the fact, uh, after we already visited there and learned some more facts about Grandfather Mountain. So your tickets include admission to the Swinging Bridge, the wildlife habitat, the nature trails that they have there, and the museum. So by far the highlight of Grandfather Mountain Swinging Bridge and Nature Preserve is the swinging bridge. Um, it is a mile high. Uh, it's not a mile high above the canyon floor. It's only 80 feet above the canyon floor, but the elevation uh, at the bridge is a mile high, 5,280 feet, and that is actually marked on the bridge as you're going across. Um, it wasn't super packed the day we were there. It was busy, but it wasn't overrun with people. Uh, plenty of room for everybody to spread out. Uh, you can take either the elevator from inside the visitor center up or you can take a little short 50 stair uh, little staircase to get up to where you can access the swinging bridge um, awesome views from up there the views were phenomenal uh, on the drive up and once you get to the top up there and then you walk across the swinging bridge and it's called a swinging bridge it doesn't swing uh, very much at all very very little movement dylan was a little apprehensive about uh, going across the swinging bridge because when we were in Montana, we did an actual swinging bridge uh, that went across the river there. And uh, he was less than thrilled about, about that bridge moving so much. But this one's much more sturdy. So the original bridge was built in 1952 and did have wooden boards uh, across. So it had a tremendous amount of movement. This bridge was rebuilt in 1999. Uh, they used aluminum boards, they use more modern materials to rebuild it and uh, made it just extremely sturdy. So it doesn't move very much at all. And then once you get across the bridge, there's actually uh, some little trails on top of the rock outcroppings that you can take. Uh, you can go up and get some amazing pictures. You can get just a beautiful view of the entire area. Uh, we, we spent a good amount of time just kind of hanging out up there and, uh, and just taking in all the views. Um, you do want to be careful if it's busy or crowded or if it's icy. Uh, those rocks can get very slippery. Uh, there are no guardrails, no, 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 really no safety uh, measures out there. It's pretty much, pretty much you're on your own. So, uh, you know, be extremely careful. Be aware of your footing. And uh, if there's other people out there, you know, try to give them space to get through. And uh, just, uh, you know, just be aware of, of where you're standing and be aware of your surroundings. And you don't have no problem. But um, it's, it's awesome. Definitely recommend taking that little short walk a little bit further out once you go across the bridge. Yeah, and the bridge is actually America's highest 
suspension footbridge. So the other draw to uh, Grandfather Mountain Swing Bridge and Nature Preserve is the Nature Preserve side of uh, the area. So they have taken um, the natural, kind of a natural environment and enclosed it. So versus like how a zoo, you know, recreates or tries to recreate a natural environment for the animals. Uh, what they've done here at Grandfather Mountain is actually just enclosed a natural environment for the animals that uh, that would typically live in that area, like elk, uh, black bears, cougars, um, river otters. Bald eagles. Bald eagles, yep. So uh, you drive down from where the swinging bridge is and you can go over to the nature preserve side. Uh, some of the exhibits um, were closed. They were being worked on when we were there. So the animals weren't there, but we did see uh, the American black bear, which was awesome. They have some black bears there um, that were very large. And then uh, kind of a funny story as we were uh, there, there, the black bears that are at Grandfather Mountain have actually always been raised in captivity. They're, they weren't wild. Uh, they, were, they were raised in captivity and then brought there to uh, Grandfather Mountain. One of, the, uh, uh, one of the attendants there was telling a, another couple uh, there were some visitors there and they saw a, a black bear in the parking lot and uh, ran inside to alert the workers there that uh, one of their black bears had escaped and gotten out. Um, as it turns out, that wasn't one of their black bears. That was just a wild, random black bear that uh, had found its way into the area. So uh, there are there are black bears up there uh, that live in that area naturally. Uh, but uh, it was really really cool and kind of a funny story to hear uh, as we were sitting there, kind of uh, observing the black bears. So then from there we went over. Uh, we saw um, some of the elk that they have there. They have a couple elk there. Um, did not see the cougar. It must have been hiding out somewhere. But uh, it was there as well so it's it's a small area um, doesn't take a, a long time to walk through so and then inside they have a nature museum that they uh, are doing some remodeling on it's undergoing some renovations and it's set to open in summer of uh, 2022 so it was that part was closed off so uh, we didn't really get to experience the full you know uh, everything that they had there inside uh, as far as the nature museum goes and the uh, the nature preserve with the animals and the wildlife habitats that they had there uh, because things were being worked on but um, still overall you know just going up uh, taking a walk across the swinging bridge uh, if you enjoy hiking they have numerous hiking trails they have picnic areas and uh, just like we said just the drive up to the top uh, to where the same swinging bridge is the views are outstanding and then um, coming down actually coming down the views are even better going up you're kind of on that incline going up you can't really uh, you can't really see what's out in front of you but coming down you know from that angle uh you, man you just get you just get a, a view of uh off the side of the mountain that that is incredible um you know it's it's almost worth it just to drive up do the swinging bridge and just take that nice drive down um another uh another little fun fact uh that we didn't know until we got there is actually part of uh part of the movie forrest gump was filmed there uh there is a particular curve there um, on the road that goes up to the to the top uh, to the swinging bridge that uh, when Forrest was on his uh, run across the country uh, they filmed part of that there he ran through that curve so a uh, little little fun fact uh, movie history there about Grandfather Mountain as well and you do have a chance to see wildlife out there uh, we did see a deer as we were coming up uh, there's a deer right off the edge of the road um, so you know you're going to want to drive slow and you know keep a keep a sharp eye out because there is wildlife up in that area so good chance you can see some while you're up there but uh we really enjoyed it um it was it was well worth the drive over and uh just the drive over was awesome as well um you know take we took kind of some of the back roads over there and uh it was just a beautiful drive it was a beautiful beautiful day uh, it wasn't freezing cold out it was cool but it wasn't freezing cold so definitely well worth it another thing to take note of is this attraction is not part of grandfather mountain state park yeah, it's separate from Grandfather Mountain State Park. They're they're not related. So um, this is Grandfather Mountain, Swinging Bridge, and Nature Preserve. Uh, and uh, again, you know, we would highly recommend checking it out if you're over anywhere near uh, Linville. Uh, like I said, it's two hours from where we're at here in Waynesville, so not a bad drive. Um, you know, we we thoroughly enjoyed it, and uh, we would definitely recommend checking it out. All right, that's going to wrap it up from Grandfather Mountain. Swinging Bridge and Nature Preserve. We appreciate you guys watching and we'll catch you guys down the road.